Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we are doing your future self on the future of your financial situation. And to do this reading, these are the three piles for today's reading. Let me introduce your crystals to you. For pile number one, you have the beautiful clear quartz. And this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number two, you have the Chrysocolla Malachite, and this is what your beautiful crystal looks like. And for pile number three, you have the beautiful flower agate. And this is what your crystal looks like. So take a close look at which one of these three decks or three crystals you're the most drawn to. And this or these will be the pile or piles for you here today. Feel free to check out more than one pile, maybe even all of the piles if you feel drawn to them. You know, your intuition is your magic that always guides you and leads you to the right readings. You never know if you feel drawn towards another pile or maybe even all of the piles, you might just get a full picture than just watching one pile or one of the piles that you're drawn to. It all depends, of course, on what you want to do and your time. But at the end of the day, I highly recommend you check out all the ones you're drawn to. And once you're ready, please head down to the description box Click on your timestamps and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I'm about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. So if this is something that you do not prefer, please pause the video, take as much time as you need. And as mentioned, I will see you in your reading. But if you prefer to choose your pile using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this section of the introduction was created specifically for you guys. What I do is I have 12 zodiac signs in a pouch and I like to shuffle it around. Then once I am ready, I will draw out four zodiac signs for each There we go. Ah, I've got three. So for pile number one, the signs are Aquarius, Virgo, and Pisces. Oh, we need one more. As well as Taurus. For pile number two, the signs are Capricorn, Scorpio, and Gemini, as well as, oh, as well as Leo. For pile number three, I think. <laughs> This came out pretty quickly. It's like saying, hey, just like a Leo, that's my pile. <laughs> right, so pile number three, the signs are Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, as well as, of course, Cancer. So these are the zodiac signs and their association to today's piles. Please feel free to choose using your ri rising sun and moon. I highly recommend you check the three. You might even find all of them in one pile. You might find them distributed amongst two or even three. If not, in this case, I highly recommend you pick by your rising sign. As astrologers explain, it deals with your outermost world 
and you will find that it is the sign that will resonate with you the most. But if you feel like going with your sun sign, I personally feel like going with my sun sign most of the time, <laughs> please feel free to do so. Your message will always reach you. And once you're ready, please head down to the description box, click on your timestamps, and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at your future self's message on your future self's, your future's financial situation. And to do this reading, these are the cards that, oh, I feel this. Well, it looks like you've got two, three, one, two, and three. These are the Oracle cards that we will be using for your reading today. Um, your crystal is the beautiful clear quartz. And if you've chosen your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces, and Taurus. Welcome to your reading, guys. Uh, let me pull out your cards. If these are not your zodiac signs, please do not worry about them. And do note that they are present in your reading because their energies will be matching the energy of the reading itself. And remember, it's a general reading. If a specific detail here and there does not resonate with you, it may be resonating with someone else listening to this pile. Okay, so let's begin by what taking a look at your oracle cards and seeing your future self's message on your future, on the future of your financial situation. All the best of luck. Let's find out. So you have moving forward. Ooh, love this first card for you. You can see a lot of snails moving forward. So nice to see. Okay. You also have the scholar investigation research. Okay, I'm getting a lot of ideas so far. But as usual, I'm going to wait until we have all of your cards on the table. Mm, yeah, maybe if I push them down a bit, we'll have space for a card here. So you have mantle. Looks like the entrance of a house here. So that's awesome. Hmm. It's where the keys are, right? Hmm. So you have crystal ball. Right, so we are taking a look at the future here with the crystal ball. Definitely your future self wants to show you something. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You also have onion and something sprouting. Ooh, I have a lot uh, of thoughts that happened as I was taking a look at this card right now. So actually one like strong thought, not a lot, a strong thought with the other one that I initially saw. So you have Saturn with Gemini with concentration. Lovely. You have Mars and Aries with impulsiveness, with a good luck sign. So good to see. Mm -hmm. Something told me you want to check the Aries pile. I think it was the third pile, if you want to do that, if you were drawn to the third pile, seeing Aries right there. And finally, you have Mercury in Cancer with intuition. If I'm not mistaken, the third pile also had Cancer. And you have three, so that's my intuition there could be absolutely right if you're drawn to it. Okay, so let's now pull out your tarot cards. This way we have a complete picture of what your future self wants to say in regard to your future financial situation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so... My dear pile number one, your cards are 
the three of pentacles that's something i saw right there but we'll talk about it in a moment love this for you you have the justice card mm -hmm. wow the star card wow wow loving this pile you have temperance mm, 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 mm. i just heard with this temperance card slow and easy wins the race and you've got the snails here you have the empress Ooh, it's gonna look so good <laughs> all right i think my idea is absolutely being confirmed as we take a look at every card you have the high priestess you have the page of swords gosh the amount of noise outside i'll take that into consideration with the page of swords and the high priestess because it started with these two cards you have the sun card mm. you have the death card i think we need to push them for that extra card coming in uh, the that last card i mean left whoa and you have the nine knight of wands Ooh. and look at that so i'll tell you what i saw i think i have the a clear picture of what's going on here actually instead of starting here i i want to begin with how i saw this so to me it looks like things in the past or maybe even now were slow it was slow and steady with the snail but rather slow uh, perhaps you were looking forward to creating more or having more financial if uh, improving your financial situation to me i get the idea that your future self is telling you continue to move forward with whatever you're doing your intuition is correct your intuition is speaking to you follow that you're on the right path and at some point it's going to go really fast and you're going to be very lucky as you can see i see your future self saying that there is a changing point a strong changing point from super slow because knight of wands is one of the fastest knights in the deck it's in conjunction to the empress which is a card of great abundance and luxury speaking of finances and you can see there is a changing point and this is where the noise were a changing point happening from things moving slowly for you to things starting to move pretty fast now looking at the uh, onion i think actually onion you know they they smell bad right they hurt the eye but at the same time they cleanse the eye so I get an intuitive feeling, and since we're talking about listening to, your, to intuition, I'm getting an intuitive feeling that your future self is perhaps talking to you about some difficulties that you're maybe going through financially at the moment, maybe due to things moving slow, that's going to sprout for you. So your future self is saying maybe it is difficult now. Maybe you're paying off some debts. Maybe you are struggling at the moment. Could this be talking about, about a bottleneck since we have this um, liminal line between the slow and the fast in your, in your future? So I think your future self is kind of showing us here that although things are slow, they are showing you into the a glimpse into the future that perhaps here with the entrance of a beautiful house maybe they're telling you that you will be living a luxurious life later on it's, it's there is a beginning to some luxury um especially with the empress here and it seems like you've achieved it in your future slow but steady let me walk you through i see a lot of planning with the three of pentacles I see yeah, looking closely into things because Three of Pentacles isn't just collaboration. It's looking closely at something. It's planning something meticulously as well. So uh, also it's a card of work. So I think your future self with the scholar and the Three of Pentacles is saying you have a direction. You are meticulously planning something. Please go ahead with that because there is like this line that's happening in your future between this planning 
and how you're reaching your goals in the best way you can ever imagine. Sun card in conjunction with the star card, two major arcana, super positive, super, uh, yeah, super positive is what I can tell you. The star card is your hopes and your dreams being fulfilled and achieved. The pinnacle of your financial dreams are being achieved. And I truly feel that with the mantle. It gives me that same feeling of the uh, empress of living a luxurious life entering a nice home i'm intuitively smelling this home it's calm it's luxurious and i see that there is a great hit of luck in your future so as you can see slow and steady wins the race right which is what i channeled with the temperance card so your future self is telling you to be patient do what you need to do continue on that path of planning take it easy you don't have to like achieve it right away but you're on the right path and there in your path is a huge transformation that will change your path to that luxurious uh, to the beginning of your luxury uh, luxurious and ab lu luxury and abundance in your life and it's from that point onwards that it's just going to boom and move very quickly from super slow to super quick and this is the theme that i'm seeing in your reading of how you are creating abundance in your future it shows me that you're moving slow steady that that ultimately is going to lead to fast and luxurious so don't hate it now i think there is an element of something annoying for you irritating your eyes irritating you because you have the onion and you know when you cut it off you're instantly uh, irritated your eyes are irritated doesn't smell good but it's good for us right and also with the high priestess and the page of swords maybe at the moment you're going through a lot of annoyance because of the noise outside I was going doo -doo 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 -doo, and i was like what is that <laughs> so all of a sudden it was there was all of this noise outside and me thinking why are they doing that so up ahead you might not maybe the irritation is that with the high priestess, you don't know what's going to happen. And obviously at the moment with the page of swords, you're slaying like you have to go through a lot and there's a lot annoying you at the moment. Maybe you got a lot of debts. Maybe um, you're annoyed because you can't see ahead. Maybe you're afraid of what's to come. Maybe you cry with the onion here irritating the eyes. Maybe you're crying. You, you're like really hoping for something. You're crying. You're trying to make it work. And I really see that you're going to be slaying these challenges with the Page of Swords. And you're going to stand there one day looking, marveling at your journey. And I say journey because on the Sun card you have Le Voyage à Travers l'Impossible. As you can see right there, which is like a journey um, through the impossible. Which again confirms on the idea with the onion and the hardships that you could have been going through or currently going through you know slaying through these annoyances and working hard and sometimes crying going oh i don't know if i can do this <laughs> you know i feel for you my dear plan number one i wish i can give you a huge hug you're not just gonna slay this you're gonna be so proud of yourself look at the sun card you're gonna look back and say oh my god i've done this <laughs> you will be so proud of yourself so yeah you could be going through hardships at the moment this is going to transform in such a crazy way the death card is a major arcana and you've got a lot of major look you've got i just noticed the amount of major arcana you have one two three four five six seven seven cards out of the one two three four five out of the ten cards can you imagine most of your cards on the table are a major arcana, arcana showing us first and foremost that this is a major deal this is not a huge transformation this is a huge deal you've got the death card which is a major arcana showing you that there is a huge transformation not just a small one you're going from so slow to large like a large amount of money so be patient Follow your intuition, continue to listen to it, continue to plan meticulously, continue to plan through these hardships. I believe with the swords here, um, you're really very sharp, page of swords, very sharp, very curious, very motivated with the page of swords. You've got this in your hands. Maybe you're at the beginning of your journey, but you've got this. Maybe you've got some hard things to go through 
maybe sometimes you cry, but you are very focused and concentrated with it, which is the page of swords as well with concentration. So Saturn shows that you are going through hardships at the moment that will lead to what you want. And that's what Saturn is about. Uh, I always remind you guys, Saturn has a bad rep, but Saturn takes us through the hardships to allow us to manifest exactly what it is we, that we want. You know, like imagine someone who wants to be a doctor without going to medical school. It's just not going to happen, you know, in the real world, as far as I know. <laughs> but, you know, 99.9999999% as far as I know, they can't do that unless they're like gifted and the universe decides them. I don't, I, I, I'm not a medical student. So uh, my point being, without wasting time, going on a tangent my point being in the real world you know you want to be a doctor you gotta go through medical school so you have a wild dream and saturn is taking you through that journey because it is making you achieve that wild dream of luxury um because that's the energy on the table like i'm just stating what your future self is showing <laughs> so yeah be patient. Uh, it's taking you on an awesome ride. It might be irritating in the beginning, but you know, uh, it's that journey to success, that wild success. You will once look back and say, wow, what a wild journey that seemed impossible. How did this even happen? You got this. My dear pal number one, continue to plan, continue to, I think with the lip sealed, it's like, think, take action. Don't speak much about it, but just like, don't complain, perhaps. Don't uh, hate it. Continue to research, work hard, uh, plan things properly as you are. You are on the right direction. You might be moving slow, but you're steady. And uh, yeah, at some point, there's a turning point your future self is showing us. At some point, it's just going to shift and it's going to take you on a wild ride. So I want to ask for you, if I want to ask your future self, when is that liminal time or when is that threshold or when is that time exactly when things are changing for you? So that's one question. Another question, I think I was going to ask for guidance, but your future self is saying, you know, keep doing, keep working slow and steady and focus. Don't, don't complain much. Just keep going and you will be so proud of yourself. So I think the question will be, thank you so much when right four cards for when wow four cards for when <sighs> let's see eight of pentacles look at how someone's working hard and generating wealth wow okay eight of pentacles queen of swords being super disciplined oh pile number one good for you you're like i got this I, I i get that feeling in your pile of i got this you have the magician looking meticulously at something, which is, you know, the name of the game for you in this pile, the magician. And you've got the tower where things can change instantly as a surprise. So there's a surprise element. What can I conclude in terms of timing for you? Let me just glare at, take a look at your four cards to try to extract some timing. I think these are two major arcana and we, there was a highlight in your reading on the major arcana. So I think these are explaining what we're seeing in the major arcana. I think these are the timing. So I think, because the first thing I thought when I saw the eight of pentacles, I saw what we've been seeing in your reading. You're like working hard, building something, right? Making something work. And you're being so disciplined. Like you're standing there strong in an impossible journey. So I think your reading here is saying you'll continue to be working hard and disciplined. Like being so disciplined until that change would happen. Like take, please take timing with a grain of salt. Um... I might read it correctly and I might not. So take it with a grain of salt. See, the magician is a new beginning because I see one, just because I see one new beginning. 
and 16. So this tells me, perhaps for some of you, on the 16th of January of a specific year. Like maybe it's 2024, maybe 25, maybe 26, who knows? But there is a new beginning with a new year in January. <clears throat> and it could be a huge surprise by mid-January mid, mid on, on a specific year. Next, this, like this coming year, the one after, I'm not sure. But this is what I was able to pick up looking at your cards in terms of timing. So there is definitely like a line where you're changing from one thing to the other. That's very clear. You're changing from slow, working hard energy, working hard financially in terms of paying your debts, maybe working hard for it, maybe saving up, uh, um, fighting off annoyances or things that you have to go through that aren't expected and things like that, whatever this is, planning for it until you move into this phase where things completely change for you. Seems like it's going to be a, in the beginning of a new year. Could be next year, could be your year, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. It could be next, the one after. We don't know. But that's exactly what I see for you in terms of timing, my dear pile number one. All right. So as you can see, at the end of the day, your future self is telling you things are going to change drastically for you. You have no idea the amount of empress, you know, luxury, abundance. <laughs> and it's going to be like this gives me an idea of quick generation of abundance. Like it's just going to be a hit of luck where you're going to be very blessed in that area. And my dear pile number one, this is exactly what I see for you. You've got the keys here. You know what to do. You're on the right path. All the best of luck. This was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook. It has 210 recipes that are healthy, delicious, and they're cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you. If you have a goal for next year to eat healthy and at the same time eat delicious food and have it cooked quickly, this book couldn't make it any easier for you. I did partner with a nutritionist that I personally really love and believe in last year to be able to bring out this e-cookbook for you guys. And if you're vegan, there is a vegan version. If not, you can make use of both ebooks. There are no duplicate recipes. And this way you'll have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from, maybe even for the rest of your life. And if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. Thank you so much for tuning in, sending you so much love. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful Chrysocolla Malachite. And you've also chosen this deck. Um, some of you could have chosen this deck. Some of you ha could have chosen your pile with the crystal. And some of you may have chosen your pile using your zodiac signs. Then in that case, uh, your signs for this pile are Capricorn, Scorpio, Gemini, and Leo. Welcome to your reading, guys. If these are not your signs, please do not worry about it. And do note that these signs are present in your reading because their energies will be matching the energy of the reading itself. And also remember, it's a general reading. Not every single detail might specifically resonate with you, also, although sometimes it could and it would be awesome. <laughs> and sometimes it just doesn't. And so that's the nature of a general reading. Okay, like keep that in mind. So these are your Oracle uh, cards for today's reading. We're taking a look at your future self's message on the future of your financial finances. What can you expect? So I instantly feel like this is your significator card and you have cuckoo clock, cuckoo, cuckoo. Maybe it's like time or something. Ooh, and you, I see a number seven. Sevens have been very potent on this channel last month. So if you were one of the people who saw a lot of sevens or maybe you're seeing a lot of sevens, 
I'm like intuitively seeing it right there. It's so small, but I'm seeing it. So maybe this is an extra confirmation for you guys. But yeah, this is so cool with the cuckoo. I'm so intrigued to find out what this is for you. <laughs> is it time? I don't know. Let's find out. You have, I feel this one. Venus in um, Aries with lust. Ooh, okay. All right. You have the muse, lust, the muse. Could it be that you're really wanted or something? Ah, I don't know. Okay. You have the muse, generosity, also naivety, right? But uh, uh, with the three of cups and the muse, I get the strong feeling that you're like really wanted, really loved. Let's see how this, uh, I mean, I can only guess being desired maybe will get you a lot of opportunities like you're desired in the market or desired as a business or desired and as an artist depending on what you do i don't know maybe it's something totally different maybe it's not money that's not financial future has nothing to do with what you do right i'm just gonna wait maybe you're like gonna be so desired and you might find like might come together with a partner a romantic partner that will adore you and this partner happens to be generous and uh, really rich perhaps i don't know it could be so many things this is why i'm gonna stop <laughs> and just look at the cards until we have all the cards on the table you have saturn and pisces with loss okay you also have maybe if i push this up a little bit i will have space at the bottom for one card there hmm. ah you have a bird on a branch let's see what this is <coughs> excuse me you also have what if i just do that yeah this way you can see most of your card all right, so you have intrigue. Do you see intrigue, lust, the muse? I mean, very interesting. I'm gonna wait though. Right, let's pick up your tarot cards and see what's up with this energy and what does your future self want to tell you here? So, what is your future self's message? on the future of your financial situation whoa thanks i guess these are your cards i'll keep them to the side if we need to fill up more we'll take them so you have the seven of swords really cool okay i said really cool because it's the background of seven of cups so it's giving me a lot of ideas and you have the chariot just letting you in on what I'm thinking. And intrigue. No, actually, we can do that. Okay. And you have the Knight of Wands. The Eight of Swords. This is the background of the Eight of Wands. The, uh, this is the Knight of Wands. Both are denoting something happening so quickly for you you have the three of pentacles and it looks like this is the background of the three of cups cheering do you see that so that's very strong energy a st strong element in your reading there is like some collaboration or something between you and someone or others you have the king of swords and the wands energy is very strong you can see the salamander in this knight of wands you can see of course the salamanders in the seat of the king of wands even though this is the king of swords so passion is a strong thing for sure passion and fire you have the six of wands success and victory love this pieces are coming together you have the six of pentacles is a it's a card of generosity so uh, we did mention that you have the queen of pentacles so cool like you're getting the best out of the best of something. <laughs> so nice to see that for you. You have the Ace of Cups. And you have the Two of Pentacles. 
And the two of pentacles with the hands tied gives me a strong indication because the two of pentacles is like choosing between two things. And the hands tied gives me a feeling of no choice. So together, this means that someone has no choice but to offer you something. Let's see the offering. It's the ace of cups. It means it's from the heart. So this means that someone is going to, someone or a company or whatever this is, is going to admire you so much that they will find that they have no choice but to offer you something. And again, the star with the queen of pentacles, you holding that star in each hand kind of gives me the idea that you're a star or you're going to be a star like you have star-like qualities or maybe you stand out or you maybe you're gorgeous or super handsome. Uh, maybe your field needs someone looking so awesome like that or it could be so many things. Please take it how it resonates. But all the lions and the, the salamanders and the fire, this is someone or something that wants you so much. So your future here is saying, your future self here is saying that there is an opportunity, someone or an opportunity lusting after you. They, with the muse, maybe they hold you as a great example. They find you to be a star and they want to give you some huge opportunity that will make you feel super abundant, especially with the rabbit here which is a symbol of prosperity and abundance so yes three of cups three of pentacles it is something that's going to happen through collaboration some and when i say something i mean generosity then generosity of wealth generosity of money with the three of pentacles generosity that will bring you a lot of um financial wealth and you have intrigue here someone's like oh looks like this is an opportunity for me uh if if this is your work someone will find you as a great opportunity and will give you money for it or this is someone who's intrigued by you who's like oh look at that shiny person i really love this person so i see you going through a difficult situation with the loss here maybe recently or maybe in the past you've lost some money or maybe you are just going passing by uh, with the seven of swords through really tricky times of your life yeah i think maybe you just had a loss can I get clarification, please, for the loss card and the seven of swords for pile number two, just to make sure I'm on the right track here. Thank you so much. It says cuckoo. I think it's like your situation could be difficult, especially with the seven of swords. And you know, this is the Arthur sword. So only one or only one thing beyond your wildest dreams, because this is the background of the seven of cups is going to take you out of this difficult situation so what is the loss denoting please and the seven of swords page of swords knight of cups and the seven of wands it's denoting challenges like just like i thought it's denoting challenges and it's denoting challenges. Maybe you're feeling lost with loss, a bit lost. The Knight of Cups reminds me of water, especially how they're holding the cup. So loss here could be thirst. You lack something that you want so much. You're thirsty for something trying to revive something maybe you're reviving your work or your financial situation to bring life to something that you're working so hard on patiently because this is the background of the seven of pentacles so this card and the seven of swords gives us the idea of what you're going through 
it makes us understand that you're you have a lot of challenges at the moment that you are with a page of swords mind you going through very well like you're like taking charge of this you're not letting it rule your life but with the eight of swords you're kind of feeling stuck or really feeling stuck and that's going to change so quickly because this is the background of the eight of wands this i think with the cuckoo clock this is saying that right now in your life this situation isn't this awesome so in your pile your future self is saying congratulations this is the time when this changes in your life especially if you're watching this now you have 12 you have one reminds me of you know uh, december and january so kind of reminds me of something happening now for you if you're watching this later it just simply means now and this also means now something moving quickly from stuck to like fast movement and this is definitely how we're seeing it you're lacking something with the loss on the seven of swords and you have a lot of challenges you're waiting patiently for these challenge to overcome these challenges you're taking charge you're trying your best uh, and you don't know how it's gonna go it's all cloudy you're not so sure so that's so cool to see you are trying to navigate between the times of loss and trying to do something and so i see that you will be seen by someone some people like this could be an organization a corporation and uh, they will have no choice but to offer you something because they see you as star-like and it's happening now at your life. This is, we're, ta we're taking a look at your, your future self telling you this, this movement is happening now. The satiation, because remember with the water, remember that? This thirst that you want is being fulfilled now. And, and someone is like discovering you with the intrigue here. Someone, a company, an opportunity is finding you. And I see with the bird here, I see financial freedom. I see that this opportunity that will be given to you with so much love is going to free you. It's going to make you free. So nice to see for you, my dear pile number two. <laughs> and I always get with this card the message of don't talk too much about it. You see that? Holding the tongue. Hold your tongue. Or maybe hold your tongue during the conversation. It might be like during that time of conversing with this company, like hold your tongue, say only what is necessary, is necessary and honest maybe or something like that. And it is the time now with the King of Swords going, dang, it's your time now of great success and achievement. It is a time of generosity where you will be given great financial wealth. You're, there's a lot of generosity with money at this point of your life so it's starting now it's starting right away for you my dear pile number two so nice to see for you <laughs> and this is the six of swords uh the background i mean of the six of swords which means that you are currently currently going through this transition and you are currently going to be offered this generosity of wealth i think this is so good we might at this point like we should, because this is like happening now for you. Get more information on this offer, right? Let's ask, since this is happening now, what should you expect with this offer? Or where is this offer coming from? Thank you so much. Whoa, these are a lot of cards, but I'm trusting the process. So can we kindly get for pile number two, please? Uh, where are they getting this offer from? Where should they expect it from? Since this is happening now, I believe it's information you can access, right? Let's see if your future self thinks the same way. So you have Page of Pentacles. Wow, the Fool, it's already happening. It's in the process, yeah. That the pregnancy of the Empress in the Fool card. Fool card, right now. Your future self keeps saying right now. It's in the process of happening for you because the pregnancy is in between world, is that transition, right? You are in a time of transition. You have, ooh, the devil, and look at that. It's the, it's the hierophant and the devil. Hmm. You have 
Ooh. Nine of Pentacles. This is a wish fulfillment card. Also, Nine of Pentacles is similar to the Queen of Pentacles with, you know, having your materialistic dreams being achieved. But it's the background of the Nine of Swords. You keep getting going from stress to abundance. Do you see that? You have the Four of Cups. And you have the Ace of Wands. See, right away with the Devil card, I see that you are stuck with something. Maybe that's what the loss is talking about and that's the tricky situation. Maybe you're stuck with something and the Hierophant is tradition, right? So maybe you're stuck with something traditional to make a living and that's where the stress is. Maybe you're stuck with Maybe your old ideas of how money is done as well. It doesn't have to be something tradi traditional. Maybe you're stuck on a specific way to make money. And with the Jed um, wand, the stick, scepter, upside down, just like the King of Swords, that situation is shifting. That's the key. It, it, the way you're making money at the moment, it seems like it's going to be lost, like it's moving to the past. There's major change here uh, because you're taking a much bigger offer. In the, in the process, like it, someone's maybe currently thinking about something to offer you something with the Empress, to offer you something abundant, lovingly again with the Empress. So it's coming through an offer. With the Page of Pentacles, it's a new chapter of making money. This offer seems to be given to you or will be given to you in a very loving and nurturing way. You know, it will be given with so much love. You know, it feels less rigid like the one you're in. Um, you know, you're stuck. It's so like full of rules here with the Hierophant. It's, yeah, it's with all the black, it's like really stiff. Here with this new offer, it's more loving, it's more nurturing, it's more comfortable, I would say. Yeah, more homey, more comfortable. I get the feels, like let's say to translate this energy for you of what I mean, I would give you the example of corporate. In that case, I would see corporate versus like small business, but is wants to offer you something bigger. Do you see what I'm trying to say? It could also be this loving, nurturing energy could relate to the first thing I saw, with um, a, a loving partner who's already living a luxurious life and wants you to be part of it. Um, so if I follow the energy of this example, I would say it could be moving from a rigid company full of rules, making you stuck, uh, a ver like small cubicle versus a, comp a smaller company that has a huge potential, has a more relaxed atmosphere. They love what you have to offer. They want to give you a huge salary. They value you and it's much, much, much better. Um, mm -hmm. Like a, a startup with a pregnancy, a startup that is funded by a huge investor. So you are given this huge salary generously and you're moving towards a success story. So that's just a translation to the energy. It could be really anything. It depends on what field, what's your work or how you're getting this money. Uh, maybe this is like literally the empress, your mother giving you money. It's like, we've got an inheritance. Here's your share, you know? So it could really be anything. But the energy is moving from something so rigid, something that lacks something important, maybe lacks soul with the death here, Right? And the devil lacks soul. And you're moving to something more nurturing, more creative, more fun. Um, more of something you love and resonate with. And it is providing you a new opportunity of money. That's happening now. Look at the Ace of Wands. This generosity is happening now. <laughs> Your future self couldn't be any clearer. It even started with the timing. Like... 
this is starting now for us high five kind of energy <laughs> so you've waited for so long with this background of four of swords but you see an ace of cups a new offer that you will love and this is the four of cups which means it's something that you're not expecting out of the blue and my dear pile number two this is exactly what i see as, as your message from your future self about what to expect on the future of your financial situation wishing you all the best of luck this is a message of timing it's happening now for you guys sending you so much love may you always be prosperous abundant and blessed and if you've enjoyed your reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload and please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook it has 210 recipes that are healthy delicious and are cooked in a matter of minutes if you have goals for the next year and you want to really um, get into a healthier routine and you want this to be easy this book is the book for you. I did partner with a nutritionist that I really love and believe in to be able to bring out this e-cook book for you guys. And if you're vegan, there is a vegan version. If not, you can make use of both e-books. There are no duplicate recipes. And this way, you'll have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from, maybe even for the rest of your life. And if you're interested in checking it out, please do check it, the link down in the, in the description box. Thank you so much for tuning in, sending you so much love, <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful flower agate, and today we're taking a look at your future self's message about the future of your financial situation. Can't wait to get into your reading. These are the oracle decks that we will be using and if you've thanks if you've chosen your pile using your zodiac signs then in that case your signs are aries sagittarius cancer and libra and guys if these are not your zodiac signs please do not worry about it and do note that they are present in your reading because their energies will be matching the energy of the reading itself and remember it's a general reading not every specific detail may specifically resonate with you it may be resonating with someone else all right so let's take a look at your cards and see what you have so you have the alchemist was with solve e coagula and you have balance invention destruction this is your significator card this is the first card we opened very intrigued about that so some form is changing but i'm gonna wait as usual i'll place it here you have listen mm. okay you also have silver lining how interesting okay you have broken glass so i'm more and more as i take a look at your cards i'm seeing with destruction broken glass solve a coagula which in um, latin means something must dissolve in order to form again i get this idea that something's left behind something else is happening especially with silver lining there's some form of change or you seeing something better we're waiting we're waiting so you have Saturn in Virgo with isolation. And you have Moon in Gemini with adaptability. Very intrigued about your reading. We'll find out exactly what this is in a moment. Ooh. And you have the Tower card. I definitely now can see that something is coming down, broken, and something else is happening, right? For sure. <laughs> Definitely, something is dissolving and something else is happening. Like you're leaving a commitment because this is like a wedding cake. So you're leaving a specific commitment and you're getting into another commitment. And, and it could be within your own office. I mean, it doesn't have to be like something else, but it's a major shift for sure. So let's find out what it is. 
these came together. You have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Moon card. So I see you as a master of something. You're, you're really good. You're considered, because especially that this is an artisan here, I believe is working on leather, creating leather goods. So you seem to be someone who's mastered their work, someone who's seen as an expert. Uh, and I'm saying work is because it's the Eight of Pentacles and it's someone working. So I believe your future self is telling you that you are a real master. And with the watch here, maybe something it's, it's time for something that's changing. Or by time, something is changing and transforming because this is the death card. You're transforming, your work is transforming in such a dramatic way with the death card and the tower card. So maybe you're going steady with something. You've mastered it. And something is going down for something greater to come up. Okay, so let's take a look at what this is. I'm so intrigued. Hmm. Uh, your reading is gonna look is gonna uh, look feel so exciting. Let's find out. So you have the two of cups. Wow. Okay, you're co-joining with someone else or something else that has more harmony with the two of cups. Okay. And this is the hanged man. And a shift in perspective, a, shi a shift in how you see something. Hmm. Hmm. Makes me think. You have the two of wands planning. Oh. Okay, wait. These two came together again. The ones that come together, I'm just going to group them together. They're meant to come together. Okay, so you're a master of your trade, of your work, of your company, and there's a shift coming to you. Perhaps due to that. And you have here the high priestess with the king of pentacles. Oh, speak about finances. And this looks like this is a person on a high tower because everything they're seeing is from up top view, right? So King of Pentacles, I see you rising to the top. <laughs> Talk about transformation, right? Silver lining. So maybe uh, because I see you suffering here, maybe you feel alone or you're going through a struggle and you're trying to adapt to it. And because... Because you've mastered, because you've mastered this stage of your life, you seem to have mastered something, you've worked really hard, you've mastered, you've learned from it. Now is a time where you're shifting into the unknown, shifting into something far greater. Look how these two cards came together as, as well as this one. So your work somehow is changing or the format of your work is changing as well as your financial situation. Wow. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of your cards. Now, I feel these two. I feel this one. And I feel this one. So these are four more. So you have the star. Wow. Loving your cards. You have the five of pentacles. Oi. And this hit the hanged man. Obviously, these are together. I love how your future self is guiding us here. So these come together. Right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And you have the three of pentacles. I told you you're co-joining with someone or something. Three of pentacles. And, and you're creating a band. A.K.A. like you're creating a team together. A winning team. And look, here is a rhythm, Right. Also, these two must run in the same rhythm, must match rhythm, otherwise they're flip and fall. So I think you're resonating with this new collaboration that seems to be happening between you and someone else who you are in harmony with, some other company or something. So you're definitely, your future is definitely talking about 
a collaboration happening to you. And this collaboration is in so much harmony. You guys get each other or you and that new company get each other. And it's not as terrible. And isolation means somehow you felt alone, you were alone, and now there is a collaboration. You're not alone anymore. And there's a huge shift in perspective, especially in your financial situation. Do you see that? Your financial situation is shifting. And it makes so much sense because perhaps with the Five of Pentacles, you have to be really careful with the money that you had. You're like, okay, I must be careful. This is what I have. This is what I must do. Um, not sure when money's coming in or something like that. And here you're up top. You're like, ooh, <laughs> the like shift, shift in perspective, shift in how you see things. Because look at your view here. And there's this person putting an arm on the other person means appreciation. They're holding them tight and dear, or you're holding each other tight and dear. And together, you will be achieving humongous dreams. Oh, wow. So this means with the two of wands, there is a shift, reshift in plan. You're already working on something and you're like, okay, so we're moving into this next stage. And now I'm on this, I'm leaving the old behind. And now there are new plans that we want to collect, to plan together. And there's a lot of harmony as you two or you and your company are putting your ideas together. You're listening to each other well, experts speaking to each other. And you're making all these awesome plans that will one day uh, uh, create like a bang in success especially when it comes to your wealth. This is what the reading is about. So your future st uh, self is telling you, you might be going through hardships at the moment. It's okay if you're going through hardship. Listen to me. I'm telling you that this is a silver lining. What you're going through now will be the very thing that will be the reason you make this grand transformation in your life in the future. Whoa, <laughs> look at that. With the five of swords, you're overcoming these difficulties. Maybe as you're listening to this now, you're already going through like leaving something behind. Or your future self is telling you, you, you are overcoming that which used to disappoint you with the cup being uh, uh, spilled upside down. So you're moving past something. Something is glass broken, broken glass. And look at that. You're leaving something behind. You're winning over something in your future. And it's leading to great abundance and wealth. So I was going to ask, like, when is this happening for you? But with the silver lining, to be honest with you, and the alchemist, I and the tower card beginning at the, like, happening in your reading right now, I have this idea that this transition is happening right now for you. But let's check, right? Let's check this out together. Let's confirm it or get more information. See, okay, so this moved. I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling this one, this one, and this one. So we ended up with four cards. Let's check them out. Okay, so I see you overcoming difficulties, winning over what used to like bring you down. Also, this means overcoming a difficulty. Maybe you're already going through a lot of difficulties. I think you are at this moment of transition. But like I said, let's wait and see. We do have the cards. Right. So let's keep that to the side. You can see it. Awesome. All right. So let's check out your cards. These came out together. The amount of cards coming out together is just so awesome. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords. We're taking a look at timing, right? But look at that, like, abundance. And you have the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Right, so at the moment, I see you, just like we saw here, like, trying to adapt 
look, look, counting money, counting money that keeps up coming up in your reading. It's unbelievable. You're like being patient, counting money, going, okay, well, this month I made this amount, this month I paid off that, this month I made this amount, okay, good. Month after month after month after month after month, you have these goals and the towel, you're like working hard to make it work. Your future self is saying you're walking away from that. What month is that? Is, do we see that? Well, it says five. Yes, I think this is May. Because one, two, blah, 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 blah. it could be May for you. Like maybe this huge shift here is happening in May. I, I, because I asked timing and I got timing, right? So something big is happening in May. Why are these here then? Let me think about it. Abundance in what? Where if we're going to look at, um, at the cards neurologically, we got May, right? King of Swords is 14, it's the number 14. So one plus four is five. I think this is a confirmation of something huge happening for you in May. And abundance, that huge abundance happening in May. So the abundance itself is starting in May. And it's a reading about finances, right? So the finances, the abundance is finances. It seems that it's happening in May for you. And I see that because look, this is a timeless reading, of course. So, but now we're towards the end of December and you have one, two, three, like this looks like the new year. So I think beginning January, you're walking away from whatever this is, because again, the 10 is one numerologically. So I think in January, you are walking away from something. And I believe this is saying maybe you're going to be starting something in May or perhaps by February. Maybe May, maybe, uh, maybe I mean January or February. So you are walking away in January, maybe because you got this huge transformation or offer in January or February, maybe. So at the beginning of the year, perhaps. And then leading up to May, there's this explosion of abundance happening for you in fact the five of swords is a five 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 a time of great change i think you're on the brinks of great change right now uh, if you're listening this to this later it's right now towards the end of the month you're watching this and the money is in five months time that like the abundance huge abundance and feeling satisfied and fulfilled and by the way ten of pentacles is great wealth it's wealth that is passed from one generation to the other this is like a big deal here that your future self is talking about this is why you've got the solve a coagula like something huge is happening here something is dissolving for something much bigger to form so a great transformation for sure is happening to you and um seems like from the beginning of the year you're walking away from something and by like mentioned by may you're getting your 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 view <laughs> of wealth and money is going to change literally because that's like the view and the view here is very clear in your reading so my dear pile number three i wish you all the best of luck with the situation may you always be blessed abundant and prosperous <laughs> this was your reading and if you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook. It has 210 recipes that are healthy, delicious, and are cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you. If you have like new goals for the new year to be healthy and eat delicious food and uh, all of this, this book can totally make it easy for you because not only will you be picking from healthy recipes, but they're so delicious and they will cut your time of preparation 
making a delicious meal in minutes. And I was so passionate about this project last year. I've partnered with a nutritionist that I really love and believe in to be able to bring this equal book out for you guys. If you want more information about it, you'll find a link to it down in the description box. If you are vegan, there is a vegan version. If not, you can um, even uh, get both ebooks. There are no duplicate recipes. And this way you have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from, maybe even for the rest of your life with recipes that are cooked in a matter of minutes. And like I mentioned, if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find the link to it down in the description box. Thank you so much for tuning in. So excited for you. <laughs> My dear pile number three, sending you so much love. May you always be blessed and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.